Yeah. We Come are in. joined by Mr. Ed Cavalli, runner-up, fourth place getter, incredible effort on Dancing with the Stars. Ed, how do you feel? Uh, thank you, Tom. Thank you, Mary. Um, I think, as far as I can tell, first is is good, but fourth is better because mm -hmm. you get to, you get to speak and you don't get hit in the face with the confetti cannon when you come second unexpectedly. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Ed, just watch your frame. Your posture's just dropping a little bit. Your left shoulder up a little bit. <laughs> I'm being triggered. I'm being triggered. I'm being I'm punching Zoom calls. No more. <laughs> it was amazing. Your dancing was incredible, Ed. Did you enjoy the dancing part of it? You know, Mary, you and Tommy, I know, you know, we spoke about it before I started because you guys had, you know, done ballroom dancing for a while and you spoke, you know, you spoke about how it, you get sort of into it and it becomes part of what you do. I never thought that would happen to me, but something happened where it, it clicks in and you start to get a couple of steps right. And it's, it just feels good like to get the steps. So I ended up really, really loving it. And my teacher, Georgia, who I was with, you know, who did such a great job with me, like I told her, trying to get me to dance is going to be like trying to drag a cruise ship over the Himalayas by yourself. It is. This is. This she is not. Did it. She did it. <laughs> she did it, and I, and I loved it. No, it was. It was. It was great. And you know what it's like too, you guys. And if you're going to do something, try and do it properly. You know, it's it's easy to just to go on and crack a few gags. And Celia and I spoke about it when we first started. We said, look, yeah, we want to have fun, and comedians don't normally do well on this show. But we're both the type of person that let's just try. Like you, mate, you got to try and then do jokes. Because otherwise, it's not you know. I mean, it's not honouring the the commitment you've made. Actually, I, I read I read a lovely comment uh, that said that you are a really good role model for children. That you actually put your all into it, and that's a really good lesson for the kids. So I, I think that was a really that's nice right. statement. Well, that's, well, that's very nice. I hope so because yeah, that's you know that's I think that is the way to do things. Because you imagine how disappointed I'd be if I'd gone out early. The excuse of well, I didn't really care. It's just. I don't know. It doesn't really work, you know? And Ed, you were, of course, dancing for Learning for Life. You visited yeah. the sector as yeah. uh, part of that and uh, raised so much awareness for um, our charity. And I believe Mary has some comments from some of our Learning for Life village. Oh, what nice. So th we, there was a lovely one um, last night. I know there was a little boy called Zach who was watching with his family every week and he was cheering for you. Um, and his mum, his mum wrote up, um, congratulations to you on this amazing journey. We've loved watching you dance every week. Um, our son, Zach, uh, has also watched you week by week dancing. He cried for some time tonight because you didn't win. Oh, He's oh. been under Learning for Life's wings for seven years this year and without everything they have helped him with, I honestly don't think he would be where he is today. You have done an amazing job and surely brought hope for many kids like my Zach. So that, I thought that was a nice one to you, Ed. No, that's beautiful. And look, hello, Zach. If you if you get to see this, um, mate, that's that's really does that really really touches me. And as you know, I've been working with you guys with Learning for Life since like 2008. It's been so long since we actually had a physical photograph of it. That's how long it's been going, you know. So it just it, that that makes me really really happy. And Zach, if you're watching this, mate, I didn't win this time, but maybe one day you can win it. Or you can start to dance and you can become a champion and I can come and watch you do a great job. Oh. And um, when, when you did the Run Melbourne for us, Ed, I don't know if you remember a lovely family um, with Charlie, who was in our program. I remember Charlie. I remember yeah, Charlie. So yeah, Sue, exactly. and Scott and Charlie and Nate. So they send a message here. Um, Dear Ed, thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your efforts to dance and support Learning for Life. Learning for Life Early Intervention changed the trajectory of Charlie's life forever. When we meet someone like you who gets it and gets behind it, it means the world. Big love and gratitude, Sue, Scott, Charlie and Nate. So that, that was really... I, I can tell you, thank you so much, but that really, really does touch me. And, and I, could be, I can honestly tell you that two minutes of waltzing is harder than Run Melbourne. <laughs> the, I know, it's the good work. The footwork involved, I was like, I was like, I'll take it. Give me a 14K run. I'll do it. Whatever it is. Yeah, those dance sports people, they are so fit. But you, you, you were ahead too because you're so fit as well, Ed. Well, look, as you know, I, I try to stay fit because it, I knew it would help me in this. But as I said to my teacher, Georgia, 
I, I, the one thing I've got is time in terms of, uh, and fitness. So I've carved out time. So I might get it wrong, but I'll get it wrong 20 times in a row and I won't stop and then we'll get it right. Yeah, that is my basic Ed, there's um, one final beautiful message we've got here. It's from Dave Hughes. It says, you're late for the radio shift. <laughs> you know why I know that wasn't from him, Tom? Because it was, far, it was far too nice. There is no way that he'd be that nice about it. But hey, guys, I, just want, I want to say thanks um, for allowing me to dance for, for Learning for Life. Uh, I, I tried to get it in to the show and say it and get the word out as much as I possibly could. I don't know if people saw, but in my packages, um, I was always holding my blue Learning for Life cup and just oh. making sure the logo was <laughs> making sure it was going the right hey, way. Here you go. So, I've got mine here. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you on behalf yeah. of everyone at Learning for Life. Thank you for an amazing effort and uh, long may it continue. Yes, thank wow. you, Ed. We really, really appreciate it. And it really lighted up everyone's um, evenings every Sunday, and especially in these times, you really have made a difference and put a smile on everyone's face. Thank you. Can I leave you with this, actually? I just remember this. One of the dancers, this is a true story, she's uh, studying a, a degree of psychology, and she told me, that after we'd spoken about Learning for Life, she's gone and, uh, and looked it up and she kept saying to me, please make sure you introduce me to everyone for Learning for Life. I've been so inspired by what I've seen from what they've done that that's the area that I want to go into when I finish my studies. So oh, that was fantastic. Very, very that nice. is so lovely. Thank you, Ed, for spreading that awareness. That's Good on you, Ed. Yay, go, Ed. Good day. Right.